We have like a little yeah. coupon board at the beginning of our grocery store and it just features like Nothing you ever want to buy. <laughs> Nothing you ever want to buy. Hey fam, Sarah here and Aaron. <laughs> and, and Michaela and, and Charlotte. Charlotte. It's a whole family affair. Welcome back to our channel. I am bringing you guys another grocery haul. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Today we're bringing you guys a grocery haul. This time it is from, oh my gosh, I'm cutting my head off. This time it is from our local grocery store and this one is a special haul because hubby also price matched today. How did that go? I was okay. I price matched as much as I could. You, do you Save money. You remember back in the day when we used to price match together at the grocery store? Yeah. I remember. I don't know. Sometimes there's apprehensiveness that comes with gro with price matching here if because it just takes a little bit of time. It's not like couponing in the States where it's just like swipe, swipe, swipe. You kind of have to present your app or whatever mm -hmm. to show it and it's like, you know, like singular items and it's it can frustrate the person behind you. I'm sure we may feel frustrated. I don't know. We haven't been behind someone who de has done that in a long time, but whenever I'm doing it, I always feel some kind of rush because I feel like I'm holding up the person behind me. Leave a comment and let me know if you guys feel that way. I know in the US you guys do a lot of couponing. I wish we had that here. We have like a yeah. little coupon board at the beginning of our grocery store and it just features like... Nothing you ever want to buy. <laughs> nothing you ever want to buy. So <laughs> that's yeah. Just the, that's the truth of it. It's not like the coupons that they have in the States that's like you can use coupon on coupon and you technically can get items for free. We don't have that no, here. No, nothing like that. But he did coupon today and he did actually save quite a bit. Oh, not coupon. He <laughs> did price match today and he did in fact save quite a bit of money. How much did you say you saved overall? Probably like 20 bucks. Yeah. So I'm going to give you guys a quick glimpse of the things he picked up. This haul is very different than a Costco haul because it is from our local grocery store. Majority of the things that are from here, you don't find at Costco. The things that we buy. Um, no. Yeah. Most of the stuff, no. So a lot of things, everything, pretty much everything from this haul is going to be very, very different than our typical Costco haul. But there are maybe like two or three things that will be very similar. So this will be a very interesting haul for you guys who want to see what it is that we pick up um, from our local grocery store, like a local Canadian grocery store. I want to point out, um, we, most of our healthy like produce, like large bulky things come from Costco. But because I wasn't planning on going there this for this week, I ended up just picking up whatever I could at my local my local grocery store to carry us over. As well as we have things in the fridge too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we picked up. And um, yeah. So how about we begin with this new item? Hubby picked this up. Why'd you pick this up? You said. What is it? Um, Gabriel showed it to me. So what it's is it? Toasted vanilla, diet coke, diet coke extra. Yeah, extra so caffeine. It's total. What? It's oh, it's toasted vanilla Coke. So we've never seen this before. These guys picked it up um, as a specialty item. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever seen this. We're not big pop drinkers around here. Not at all. Seldom do we ever buy pop. <laughs> the extra caffeine sold me. Yeah. So <laughs> moving on, we bought some Rice Krispies because um, the girls and myself want to make some Rice Krispie squares with Zozo, and so we had to get that. Um, we did get the other things that we need to make that in this haul so stay tuned hopefully we get to that before it becomes like actual cereal cereal and it gets eaten and then we don't make it that's true but uh hubby picked up some what is this cinnamon toast cinnamon toast crunch hubby picked up some cinnamon toast crunch because i think this he got to price did you price match this no it's just on sale oh, okay because this was on sale mm -hmm. He got some Captain Crunch because they, this. yeah, the kids love that. And like I said, guys, we don't always buy cereal, but it is nice when we do because, like, I mean, okay, we all, we do buy cereal, but we don't always buy these sugary cereals. Sometimes the kids have to buy, it. they have to um, stick with the one that we get from Costco, which is what's it called, the cranberry, cranberry almond crunch. Yeah, which is more of like a mature cereal. It's not necessarily like a kiddie. I'm just saying, it's like not an adult like cereal? it's like an adult cereal. Exactly. <laughs> so, but we do like to indulge them in the ones that they like for the people who say like, you know, it might be um, sugary. sugary. Um, you know, everyone has their own taste. We do like to indulge them a little bit. This says whole grain is the first ingredient. 
<laughs> okay, is that, is we're that good? Is that good? <laughs> is that good enough? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hubby picked this up for me, the coconut chia. I didn't even put, oh, this is granola. I forgot that it was called granola, but I did ask him to pick up granola. I didn't expect it to be this, but this is the good, this is awesome, because this is exactly what I would have wanted. Oh. So then I got, they got Doritos because Zoe, Zoe has like recently just has this obsession with Doritos all of a sudden when it's here she eats it up when it's not here she asks for it so we just I mean, made sure he picked up two packages for him for for her and the girls I got yeah this for two bucks. yeah and these are but 350 350 but he got these for two dollars I think in the states they're a lot cheaper how much were all the other cereals Captain Crunch Captain Crunch was three bucks this is five something and, and this was 350 yeah um, next, they grab pizza. Today is, is Thursday night. I think they're gonna grab. They're gonna have pizza tonight for supper. And these are delicios. These are usually like four ninety nine here. How much did you get them for? Four fifty. And yeah, they picked up a Betty Crocker brownie mix. This is just something that they can make as a snack. And yes, we can bake brownies, but honestly guys with like school and everything we've got going on it's so much easier these days to just kind of um have something on the go if we can get to baking we get to it but if we don't or if we can't we have something in place that we can you know so, like a substitute so i want to point out i am kind of going through all the desserts through all the snacks and stuff we will get to the healthy food <laughs> so true healthy food is coming y'all but so next they bought these decadent cookies the family loves these um and like i said if we you see replicas they will go to our pantry and these guys will get them as they run out we got two boxes of ritz crackers i think we still have two no, we finished one today, so there is one extra in the cupboard. This is good stuff we can put two in the pantry and stock up a little bit. They bought Cheez Its. These were not on sale. These hubby said are what? These were three fifty. Three fifty. Two two bucks each. Two bucks each. Two bucks each. Two bucks each. So they bought hot dog buns. I guess hot dogs is in this grocery list somewhere or in this grocery haul somewhere because we don't buy hot dogs very often. But every now and again, it's something quick and easy to have. These guys got goldfish. I do prefer to buy the large case at Costco, but this will carry us over until we do. It's just two bucks. It's two bucks. Mm -hmm. And we got two things of juice, a Fruitopia and a Tropicana. How much are these? Dollar fifty and five bucks. We also picked up a case of juice boxes for Zoe because it's just good for her to have something at hand. Um, you know, just an, once again, quick and easy. How much? Two bucks. Two bucks. I think we're running to the last of the treats. These guys like Oreos. Some like vanilla. Some like the chocolate one. So we get. Um, we're uh, we're non-discriminatory Oreo family. That's right. So <laughs> so we got one of each. How much were those? Two bucks each on sale. So those well, I, are. I price matched those. Yeah. So yeah, Hubby price matched these and he got them for two dollars each. So he got cocoa powder. This for is baking. for baking because Charlotte wants to bake a couple of things and we have these no bake recipes that we want to make her and I and so. I believe this is one of it for that recipe. We got some toffee bits. This is actually for baking again. It goes hand in hand with these. So be on the lookout for those videos that are gonna come with us baking some no-bake cookies. Hot dogs to go with the hot dog buns as I showed you. I forgot to point out, these are chicken wieners because the girls and I, we don't really like the beef ones. Um, Hubby's the only one who likes the beef ones, so he kind of lucks out on that. And sometimes you, I mean, sometimes we do buy the other ones, but then they stick around forever unless, and unless he's the only one eating them. Yeah, they have to force people to <laughs> eat these hot dogs. And the same goes for bologna. Um, Zoe actually likes bologna and will have a bologna sandwich periodically. So uh, we picked this up. Once again, these kind of things we don't buy, an, uh, buy a lot in this house because of the high sodium content, but every now and again, guys. And hubby picked up a whole bunch of chips here. We've got dill pickle. What's that? Salt and vinegar, mm -hmm. sour cream and onion. And then regular for you. And then regular cut ripple. And these are each... A dollar. Those are a dollar each because um, they're the store brand, uh, which we don't... I don't know if we've ever really bought them. But no, I just thought we'd try them. Yeah, so we thought we'd try them, exactly. Right. And then, of course, you know, we always buy bagels. So he bought these two brand, store brands from, um, yeah, our local grocery store. I'm assuming that's a dollar each. No, these are a dollar like thirty. 
each. So they're, yeah, they're a dollar thirty, and he got, what'd you get? Everything and sesame. Everything and sesame. <laughs> so then we also needed some mayonnaise. Um, if we were going to Costco, we'd have to get the one in a jar, the large jar, like family size. But this is just the good one. And this is actually squeezable too. I do like this container because it's less of a mess and it's easy to just use. I asked Happy to pick up some soup mix because I want to make a soup sometime this week because I'm trying to just eat like healthy carbs and we also like soup because it is a season for soup we also picked up these with the asian asian style blend veggies so the costco Mel medley brand um veggies that we buy don't have this like these vegetables in it so this is what i do like when we buy them from our local grocery store there are like you know a variety of ones that we don't often see at costco as well so we grab those those are 350 each those are 350 each then we also picked up some blackberries as well as some blueberries these are things that we don't often like to pick up from our local grocery store just because they tend to not always be good or they just don't taste that great so that's why the containers are so small like this is not exactly a large size serving for our entire family but like i said this grocery haul is just something small from our local grocery store until we go to costco in the coming week so we also grabbed some sweet onions these are the ones that um, we've been using quite often in our food but not this exact brand we usually buy the bag from costco that has about seven or eight in it i believe yeah this retails for a dollar 59 a pound at our local grocery store we also got apples once again um the apples that we buy from our local grocery stores they are not always our favorite what brand is this that you bought oh what kind of apple yeah it's a honey crisp apple okay Those are the ones these like. yeah we like honey crisp these are pretty small for honey crisp i would They're say really small for honey i would say i've never seen honey crisp this small yeah but yeah this is just a small handful of apples which should last us like i said if we pick up we have a whole bunch of different foods so this should last us um a couple of days, couple of days <laughs> and carry us over while we until we go to costco um but yeah the they're i like the fact that they're semi-green because i do find that they ripen too fast but at the current moment we don't have any ripened ones so <laughs> you win some you lose some mm -hmm. we got two mangoes last time we had mangoes they were really good but once again they were not from this store so let's hope those go well and then we also bought avocados Pretty how small, many huh? yeah they are very five. small hubby said he got five for three dollars and fifty cents now the ones that we buy at costco you do get roughly five and they are these days they're actually pretty small too they're not that big anymore oh, and not, they huh? are being sold for like nine no 13.99 wow really yeah so this is like a steal if they're in fact good um so next we got some garden salads so we can make some salads throughout the week and i like this stuff because it's already like i don't know it's packaged it does say pre-washed i believe yeah. um but i will still wash them <laughs> i also asked happy to pick us pick up a cabbage this is the smallest cabbage i've ever seen it is pretty small <laughs> but it's okay because it's better than having too much in there i want to make a cabbage soup That's or nice just thing. a cabbage um what do you call it like a stove top Cab cabbage, cabbage fry, fry i yeah. guess so next we got some canned goods um red kidney bean or black beans okay why do they look red on camera they actually do look red black beans and chickpeas and these are perfect i want to point out that we have our containers coming for our kitchen organization and when it gets here i don't ha necessarily have to buy all the canned beans i will still buy some canned goods on, on hand mm -hmm. because it's it's nice to have it when it, you know you're just in a rush but i would love to you know have some more dried goods so those containers will come in handy for that for some reason the order's taking extra long it's going to take about a month to import to, to canada oh yeah it's coming overseas right it's just i think it's just yeah i don't know but um yeah that will be really good when that comes but that's one of the things that i'd love to store in those containers it's just like dried black beans and you know other beans and stuff like that lentils that i want to use to make soups and stuff you guys can see if you guys like i said if you guys are avid watchers of our vlog you would know that we always have croissants however these ones are so small and they're so there's so few of them <laughs> i bought these specifically for zoe 
specifically. Okay, yes, they say that. So hubby saying those are bought specifically for, specifically Zoe, for Zoe, but the reality is everyone will eat it and it will disappear in like, like a, a day. day. The croissants are three bucks, two dollars. Mm -hmm. How much were the apples? It's a dollar eighty a pound. Okay, so next we got. Four, we got two packages of muffins. These are four bucks each and they're chocolate banana chunk. They're actually really, really good. I indulge in these here and there because the sodium content is not too much. But um, yeah, Zoe likes these. Everyone likes those. And I think this is it, guys. Last but not least, we've got some miniature marshmallows, which will be for baking as well. So it will go with the cocoa powder as well as the toffee um toffee crumble thing which you guys would have seen earlier in the vlog but that's pretty much it guys i know it seems like there's a lot of snacks and stuff in there which there are but keep in mind we are a family of seven there are kids who like to snack on things and they don't eat it all at once we do put stuff in the pantry if this was like our local costco haul it would have been four hundred dollars three hundred four hundred dollars so we did get a lot for our money if this was our if this was our local grocery haul from costco it would have easily have been like four hundred dollars not just because of the bulk goods that we would have purchased but also with the, the extras. extras that always come with purchasing stuff at Costco. So that is it y'all. Um, the one thing that I definitely am missing is just having more produce and I'm not, in terms of like our meats and stuff for the week, we don't have any of that in this haul because this is not the place that we like to shop for our meats. I did indicate before that we like, we do prefer buying it at Costco. So we currently do still have stuff inside our fridge, just like fish. And I think we, and we also have um, ground beef. And I think we may have another thing of chicken. We might, so, yeah. but that's, yeah, until that will carry us over till we, until we need to go back. And then we will pick up our meat supplies at Costco so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to our channel definitely hit the subscribe button as well as hit the like button and <laughs> thumbs up as well as um leave a comment down below and answer today's question of the day so so being that we got some baking supplies for today's in today's haul today's question of the day is what do you like to bake on a regular um, in our family we traditionally like to bake banana bread that's like our staple we do bake other things but that's the thing that we like to bake the most I'd say don't you? Uh, yeah for sure the most, yeah. and it's really tasty so I'd love to hear from you guys know what you like to bake on the regular leave it down in the comment section below and until next time guys bye Thank mm -hmm. you.